what's up guys okay today uh, since I'm a little free I'm gonna do a video talking about stats and why certain uh, TMs or items are better for certain units uh, hopefully I mean this is pretty logical if you actually think about it but some people do not know okay so let's start we're gonna talk about stats and why pots potting your units are pretty important if you want the min max uh, the most you can get out of them okay so first of all uh, there are rarities right a four star five star six star three star why are six star units the best because it's because their, their base stats are the highest I mean this will always be true Alright, in comparison to a similar unit that does the same thing, the same utility. It's uh, it's always going to be this way. I mean, it is the highest tier rarity for 6 star units, right? Okay, so... I'm going to use Orlando as an example. Um, we should use the same Asper so it's not skewed. Okay, so this Orlando is max potted attack, 34. Uh, this is very important uh, because uh, TMs that give you base stats increase like Brave Suit and Inferno Armlet are going to work better on a unit that's max potted, uh, i.e. this one right here. Uh, the attack is 987 uh, attack with Odin. Alright, so why is this the case? Because when uh, you have items like Brave Suit, which gives you 15% attack of your base attack, the higher your base stat is, the more bonus uh, you get from this item. Alright, uh, I mean, if you've been playing for a long time, you would know this, but some guys are new, uh, and I would like to explain this to them. And why is Inferno Armlet the best in slot for a max potted unit, a uh, physical attack unit? Because it gives you 20% attack on an accessory slot. So it is the most you can min max uh, for a unit that you have max potted. So, okay, so you can see the attack is 987. Uh, three quick assaults, one blade mastery. Okay, so now I am going to remove all this. So the base attack is 307 with Odin. Always remember the Asper add stats. And when you switch Aspers, the stats uh, change as well. Okay, so this Orlando has no pots at all. Alright, no pots. I'm going to put on the same setup. And uh, you can actually see the difference with the attack. Exactly same gear. Uh, nothing will be different. I'm gonna have to switch the Asper over. Okay, so this is uh, actually the same. It's 30% attack on all the materials and blade mastery. Okay, now he's on Odin. Okay, so now <coughs> the attack of this Orlando with no parts is 867. Okay, so now the difference is quite big. Eight, six, seven. The difference is 120 attack. And this 120 attack comes from pots. And Orlando, you can only pot him to 34 more attack. So you see the relation with stats of a unit. And uh, some units will always be better with these kind of gear. Uh, because you can actually pot them more. Let me find a unit that we can actually see the pots, the max pots that you can use. I'm not really sure how much. Okay, you see, 
different units have different maxes. Noctis max attack pots that you can actually use is 30, while Orlando is 34. So the room to grow the potential is higher for Orlando. And of course, you have to look at the base attack with no pots at all. And actually look at the difference between them. Alright. Uh, let me see. Okay, as you can see, Gilgamesh max potted, you only can pot 26 attack. So, this would not work as well with Gilgamesh as with Orlando. Max potted. Because the growth is different, alright? Uh, I'm gonna do a mage. How about Dark Fina? Alright. Okay, so the best gear that I can give my Dark Fina right now would be. Magistral Crest. Okay, you, you might think Ring of Lucy is better because you actually get Altana, which is the best spell in the game. It could be this way, but the MP usage is very high. So if you're going to do explorations, it's not going to work out that well for you. Magistral Crest gives you 30% mag. Now, uh, remember, this is a max potted Dark Fina. Okay. I'm going to show you the difference. And I put on the right shit. Okay, so this is the best stuff that I can actually put on her right now. I should be using Creepy Mask, but I don't want to touch my arena team, so... Cat Hat. And... Rainbow Rope. Okay, with no other materials, 634 mag. This is a max potted Dark Fina. Okay. Just to confirm, 34. Max potted. So, her mag is 634. Now, what would happen if I actually use an accessory that does not give me base bonus increase. Mag 50 on Ice Rosita from uh, White Knight Noel. Now where's my other one? What the hell? Okay, so you see, these are flat increases. Mag 50. You get lesser mag on her. So it's 624 uh, with Magistral Crest, which gives you base mag increase, it's 634. So when you're min maxing, there is a difference. Okay. Okay, so this gear, we're going to put it on a non potted Dark Fina, and you can actually tell the difference right now. Let me find a Dark Fina that's not potted. Okay, so... Non-potted. We're gonna put on the exact same gear. I mean, if you've been playing for a while, you should know the difference. Um, and what the different stats help you do. So basically in this game, attack is uh, squared, so the higher it is, the more benefits you get, the more it's gonna be. I mean, you can read all that on the wiki, it's all right there. Just load up the page based on stats. I just want to show you the difference uh, that different items give you. Okay, exact same items on a non-potted Darkfina. So, potted Darkfina was 634 mag. 
right? Exact same things. Non-ported is 570 mag. Now, what would happen if I switch Ice Rosita instead of the Magistral Crest? It's higher now. Okay, which means that this item gives me more increase on a non-potted Dark Fina in comparison to a max potted Dark Fina. So when you choose your gear and you're maxing uh, the potential your unit has, you have to keep in mind the base stats of the unit. Alright? Uh, so it's, I think, 10 more mag on a non-potted Dark Fina. I mean, 30% is a big increase, okay? Look at the difference. It's 10 mag more with a flat increase in stats. Okay, now we're going to talk about base stats of a unit and why they are not important. Well, not as important when you're choosing... Um, how do I explain this? When you're choosing a unit to use in your party. Okay, because in this game, skill modifiers are very important. Uh... And stats is where you actually try and eke out the most out of the unit by using parts. While skill modifiers are constant, the stats on your unit are not constant. Okay, so uh, off the top of my head... Alright, let me think of someone with... Okay, we're going to use Olive as an example now. Max Potted Olive. Alright, you can see right here. Uh, why is a double hand setup the best setup for Olive? Alright, so I'm going to show it to you right now. So, a double hand setup. Okay, when you have a double hand setup in comparison with a dual wheel setup, uh, double hand is when all the attack on your equipment is double. Okay? And in this case, Olive has a passive that gives you double hand as well. And uh, Sparky has a passive that gives you double hand. So... It's a pretty big difference when you stack such a bonus on a unit. Oh, this is a good time to show you this. Alright. Um, okay, so best in slot for a Sparky for a double hand build would be a monster breastplate because it's plus 12 attack. Alright. Okay, we're not going to do any materials, we're going to just do this plainly. Okay, so with materials, Olive would be way higher in attack. Actually, should I just show you that as well? Okay, I'll show you that as well. Okay, Olive, quick assault times 3. Without Aspers is 1118 attack this is a double hand setup this is pure double hand setup because no passive bonuses for base stats everything is based on the double hand uh, you can see double hand equipped equipped and then there's a passive heavy arms proficiency so in the end uh, she has three stacks of double hand on her which is why she can, she is actually the highest attack unit in the game right now. Now what would happen if 
I switch Monster Breastplate for Brave Suit. Okay, so we all know Brave Suit gives you 15% attack, which I just showed you just now. So it's 1118 now, right? It's lesser. Why is it lesser when you actually get a lot of bonus from it? It's because of the way Double Hand works. The more attack on your gear, the more attack you get on the unit. So for a double hand unit, Brave Suit is not gonna be uh, the best in slot for you. It's actually gonna be something that actually looks quite small. A 12 attack monster breastplate. Which is why this is the best. Because you get more attack from it on uh, gear. And this is constant because it's based on gear. In comparison to a dual wheel build. Uh, where you do not rely on double hand because you can't have both existing uh, at the same time, right? Uh, what else can I show you? I should remove the shit. Um... Maybe a non max potted olive? Alright. Non max potted olive, exact same gear. See the difference. See the difference in stats uh, that they bring to you. I'm thirsty, man. Alright, there you go. This is non potted. Non potted olive. No pots at all. Same gear. Uh, difference is about. Let me pull up my calculator. 1118 minus 1026. Okay, so this is without Aspers. The difference is 92 attack. So the difference that pots give you 34 attack pots. Attack points pots. That you can use it translates into 92 attack okay this is hugely different in comparison to a dual wheel build that uses a brave suit which is best in slot uh, because the base stat increase is higher when you have uh, a brave suit or an inferno armlet it's gonna give you more on that unit and uh, I mean, everybody likes the E-pin hanging out, right? So uh, you want to wave it around and all that. The different things that you equipped your unit based on what uh, way you are going to is going to affect the things that you want to put on a unit. Did I say that right? So whenever you have a double hand setup, you want a lot of stats on your equipment. Uh, base flat increases. While a dual wheel setup is more flexible because it is not based on your equipment. It's based on the stats that the equipment gives your unit. Alright? Alright, anyway guys, I hope this video hasn't been too long. Uh, I hope you actually understand what I'm trying to say because sometimes I do not articulate what I want to tell you guys that well. Uh, believe me, I watch my own videos and I find my own flaws and stuff. But yeah okay so i hope you enjoyed this video uh and uh subscribe for more in the future and uh check out my other videos my orlando banner pool video there's 440 pools uh the wanton kills on ifrit on gilgamesh whatever i mean those are pretty fancy go watch those anyway like and share the video if you like this and uh, maybe you want me to do more such videos and uh take care guys see ya